Huzzah! I am the two-time, two-time, the Boxed Award winning the Boxed. And here we are. It's another Tuesday. And it's another Loot Crate, folks. Um, I... I opened up with a huzzah because that is the theme of this loot crate is huzzah and I think this is actually the first one that has kind of been here on time. Like, um, it was supposed to come between the 28th and the 10th, but you give an extra few days, but those are for the American customers, so you give an extra few days for international shipments. I'm in Canada, so that makes it international, so I guess the, for the first time in a long time, we actually have an on-time loot crate. Now, the core crate is still late. The slam crate, Mania slam crate, is still late. And the last, the last two Marvel crates are still late. So, the hashtag late crate is still accurate. But, this is a start. Thank you, Luke Cage, for actually having this one on time. I know I will rag on you for it, and rightfully so, but I do know that it is. But working in the kitchen, I do understand how it is dealing with customers, regardless of what the situation is. That's why I'm in the kitchen and not a server, or in the front. So, this is a nice start to get back on track. I do know a lot of this stuff is um, repeats. I go to the spoilers. Because I want to see what it is. I, I paid for it anyway. I'm going to find out. So, uh, let's see how this goes, folks. And it looks like I'm actually going to get the thing I wanted. Because um, the Skyrim item was either going to be the apron, which I already bought off of the vault. And those enamel pins. Or you would get a fleece. There was no shirt in here. So, um, I'm not going to be putting any shirt on for that. But there was a Skyrim fleece, and looking at it, I can tell you right away, the first thing that's in here is the Skyrim fleece. So I am happy I get the Skyrim item that I, I don't already have. So here you see the Skyrim logo. Nice and soft. Um, I have the, um, the gear, the... I have, I think, like, um, a Gears of War one from December's Crate. I also bought the Pac-Man and Under the Giant Fleece off the vault. I think this is um, a small, like, um, a smaller one, but um, still, uh, it is nice and soft. It will come in handy in the winter months, but um, it's June, so this will probably go on the shelf for the time being. It is nice to have um, like, these themed comfort items. So um, the fact that this is one of the, the fact that I actually have one of these instead of the, uh, the second apron, the second set of Skyrim pins, I will say nicely done on this one. I do like this one. Um, the second thing, um, I know that this is another repeat. Uh, but thankfully for me personally, it's not one that I don't. It's one that I don't already have. So there you go. And it is a Dungeons and Dragons a die holder. And they actually included a die in this one for. So. So here you see the dragon, and here you see the die. Um, an interesting item, but um, I don't go to um, D and D. Uh, uh, I've never re really actually had any friends to play D Dungeons and Dragons with, so um, it the item itself to me is unique because. Um, it's one I don't yet have. But at the same time, I know that it's a repeat, so it's like it's one that I'm on the fence on. I'm not sure how, my, like how much I'm going to make use out of it. So, 
I have a, a question on this one. Hmm. Okay, there's one in here, I don't know what it is. Okay, so, uh, wait. There's a magic... I'm gonna open up the Magic the Gathering, um, tri poster here. A little folded, because, uh, like a little curved, because of... Because of the box. So, yeah, let's see, there's that. So, um, I like that they doing did something kind of different with um, the posters, because we do get a lot of posters, so at least half a point for doing something different with it. But I don't see it staying together. So, um, there is a ma Magic of Gathering Arena. There is a code on the back to unlock three Core Set 2019 packs for Magic the Gathering Arena to redeem download at mtgarena.com So um... If you're the Magic the Gathering... So if you... If you were into Magic the Gathering hit me up or comment down below um... I will send you the link I will, I will send you the code to it so... Yeah, I do actually like, I do actually enjoy the artwork on this one, so, um, another half point on that one. So, we have here also, um, the pin. It's okay. I don't care that much for it. It's, I doubt that it's one I'm gonna wear. Just not not that interesting to me. And um, we have next up. I think this is this would be like a drinking horn. Let's see if it actually. I actually suppose, am I supposed to be allowed to take this out, or do I just leave it in the bag or something? But here we go. So here we have uh, my very first drinking horn. Ricola. So yeah, it is what it is, folks. Um, not sure how much I'm going to use it. This is um, a Vikings something uh, something scale drink um, Floki drinking mug. Um, the writing on here is not the most legible. I'm sorry. So drinking horn. And this is something where I'm not sure what it is. Maybe you know what this is, or... I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be part of the horn. Well, it... It kind of fits, I guess. There. So I guess that's, um, it looks like, um, also there's a poster in here. Ooh, um, Trover saves the universe. A uh, franchise I've never heard of, nor do I care for it. So, if you are of the Trover saves the universe variety, then comment down below. I will 
send it to you if you like it. From the creator of Rick and Morty. So... I don't know and I don't care. So let, let's see what the... Um, Ooh, we're back, we're back to the folded ones. So yeah, here we go. And yes, um, the strap was meant for the, for the Vikings drinking horn. So here it says on the back, the D&D &D Red Dragon Dice Holder. Um, Dungeons and Dragons has been the quintessential role-playing game for 45 years and a legacy that definitely warrants a heavy, a hearty huzzah! Few creatures guard their treasure more fearsomely than red dragons, which is why we've entrusted one to hold your D20. Okay, so a D20 is a 20-sided die. It's a 20-sided die. So the, um, the Skyrim fleece blanket is what I got, or the Skyrim cosplay, cosplay apron is what they cook, but and pin set. Um, so I got the, as you saw, I got the fleece. The Vikings drinking horn, um, the Magic the Gathering Arena triptych print, and um, and the ch the Loot Gaming Chalice pin. So if I'm judging specifically or just by the items themselves, I'd say this was a decent crate. Um, I like the fleece. Uh, the the die holder is interesting. Hmm. We'll see how much I use the drinking horn. Um, and aside from that, the the poster I don't care for. And, you know what, folks, I guess, I guess that's it. There's really nothing left to say about that, about, about this crate. Um, I guess I would have preferred to not have, a, like, a repeat item on here, but I know that they're moving out to, to try to get rid of stuff from their, from their warehouse because um, they want to save some money, but still, you'd like to see some sort of a, You'd like to see them try a bit harder. But it is nice to get like a late... It is nice to get a crate that is fairly decently on time. For once. Here's hoping we get the um, backlog of stuff that we're waiting for. Until then folks, um, stay tuned. I still got other stuff that I'm gearing up for. Uh, to make... Because I have the wrestling videos, I have season 4 of Karaoke Catastrophe, and I just wanted um, to get enough, enough stuff to pan it out where I'm not doing... Just, where I, I don't want to be too monotonous with what I'm doing. So, stay tuned. we still got some more stuff coming down the pike, and hopefully I'll just get that stuff up sooner rather than later. Until then, folks. I am the two-time... The boxer, the award winning the boxer, and I will see you next time, folks. Bye.